What's up, you guys? Shardimus Prime here, doing another Diamond Select Toys action figure 4K review on <coughs> the Diamond Select Toys Jay and Silent Bob reboot. Jay and Silent Bob. I gotta give a big thanks to Diamond Select Toys for making this review possible and sending out this product my way. If you want to see the latest from DST, check the link in the description below. And you can see right here we get some nice images of Jay and Silent Bob right there. On the side, you can see Jason Mewes, you can see Kevin Smith right over there. And then on the back, you can see product shots of both figures. It says Jay and Silent Bob Reboot. I've seen the movie twice so far. I need to pick up the Blu-ray. And both times I got to see it with Sean Long. We had a great time. Uh, we went to the road show and everything. It was absolutely fantastic. I love this movie. Ugh, excuse me. I had a great time watching it. Anyway, uh, let's get to it and crack these things open. And uh, the packaging is right over there. And here is Jay. Oh, he just dropped his figure. And then here's Silent Bob. And he just dropped his joint. And these are both really looking cool, man. I like these. And they both have really cool accessories as well. Um, I find it strange that the Jay figure comes with a whole bunch more accessories than the Silent Bob. So uh, let's get, get a closer look at the accessories that come with Jay right over here. Uh, first off, well, yeah, I'll get into the details of the figure in just a little bit, but he does come with a tiny figurine, which is awesome. I love that they each come with their own little figurine, so that's really cool. You can see the little Jay with the hoodie wrapped around and everything. Really well done on this tiny figure. That's pretty awesome. And then he does come with his movie cup right here, which is great. I like that he has a movie cup. That looks really good. Like that. And then he also has a movie cup holding hand. That's why I find, find this most useful for, is that you have this right hand for holding the movie. And then you get a just regular relaxed left hand right there. And then he also comes with his union ID card, which I don't remember. Was, did they show his union ID card or was it just Bob's? I thought Bob was the only one that had the union ID card in this movie, but I could be wrong. And then he also comes with his own plant. Look at that. All right, looking looking extra sticky, gooey goodness. I like it. Looking really good. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so very stoked about that. That's really cool. And he also comes with his joint, which is not lit or anything, but you can see how it's obviously shaped like a cone, and that looks pretty good too. And he has a joint holding hand. So does Bob. And you can just stick that between the fingers, as you saw earlier, and he holds that just fine. Then you can see we have this other hand for uh, other accessories, like the Union card. He could hold that okay right over here, too. So, very neat. And he could hold the figure as well, as you saw just a second ago. And then, getting a close look at Jay right here. I think they did a much better job on this one compared to the Jay and Silent Bob Strike Back versions that we'd gotten. Uh, those ones were just, I don't know, I felt like this, I mean, I, I could see the expression in his face, I just feel like this one looks a little bit more like Jason Mewes. I don't think either of them really nailed it, but I still think this just looks a little better. I don't like the chalky look that we're seeing right here on this one, so I like that. I like how he's he's got his, <laughs> it's not a beanie, is it? It looks like a beanie, and then the hair does kind of just stop right here, it's just moved off to the sides. And then I like how he has, like, a, is this a Marvel Zombies shirt? It looks like a Marvel Zombies t-shirt right there. That looks really cool. And he's got the blue hoodie. And then it has the cock smoker on the back. I didn't know that. I don't remember this from the movie. How did I forget about this? Oh, now, uh, I, now I know how I forgot. But, yeah, that, that's really cool. I like the deco on there and everything. And the jacket is made out of a soft, you know, Fairly soft material. It's a little on the stiff side. And then you can see the pants right over there. And then you can see his shoes. He has some gray in there. And he has treads and peg holes at the bottom of his feet. Very cool. And then we have the accessories that come with Silent Bob. Uh, Silent Bob, uh, just uh, there's his joint. You can see he has a joint right over there. Just like Jay. And it's not lit or anything. I dropped it. And then he comes with his own figure. So you can see the Silent Bob figure. <laughs> So funny, he's like so skinny now compared to our previous. It's it's just kind of weird to see such a skinny looking Silent Bob. You know what I mean? But hey, good. You know if it if it means more years of Kevin Smith, I'm totally 
down for that, so that's awesome. <laughs> and then on the left hand, you can see that we get the smoking hand and a relaxed hand, and on the right hand, you have a, an accessory holding hand right there, and then you get the card holding hand right there. So that's really neat. You get both of those, and then you can see that we also get the union card right here. And was it 305, or was that Tracy Morgan's? I just remember Tracy Morgan's from, uh, you know, Jay and Silent Bob Strike Back. <laughs> but um, it would have been nice to see Tracy Morgan in this movie, right? We didn't get a Tracy Morgan appearance, but, you know, he's, I'm sure he's been probably busier than most dealing with what he was having to go through and everything, right? Man, if you guys have not watched The Last OG, I urge you to watch it, you know, especially if you're a fan of, you know, the Jay and Silent Bob franchise, because I don't know, it's there, there's a lot of related rate relatability to you know some things from the past that we don't have now. That you know, that a lot of us, I don't know, older guys, oh, I'm part of the older guys club now, getting closer to 40, but hey, facts, man, facts. Um, but yeah, uh, The Last OG is an awesome show, I love that show. And uh, and then here's looking at Kevin Smith, which looks way more like Kevin Smith to me than the previous version that we'd gotten from Jalen Silent Bob Strike Back, you know. This one looks like, you know, Miguel or something instead. I don't know a Miguel that specifically looks like this, but I, I just imagine this guy being called Miguel, you know what I mean? He just kind of has that Miguel kind of look, no? No? I don't know. But this one looks a lot more like Silent Bob to me, so... I like that, you know. I guess what I'm trying to say is that he looks like Latino American is what I'm trying to get at. Whereas this one looks more like, you know, Kevin Smith. But anyway, I like how the eyes are all peeled. He always does that with his eyes and everything. And, and like how the hair came down right over here. I wonder if the hair is just attached to the hat. Like the actual prop. Oh, I like that marker. I kind of want to get this hat now with that facial expression on there. So nice baseball cap right there. The trench coat is fairly stiff i wish it was you know not so stiff it, you know softer material but you can see that we get nice wrinkles sculpted in there and everything so pretty cool not too bad you know trench coat comes all the way down skinny bob right over here and then you can see the jeans and then he has the sneakers right there treads and peg holes at the bottom of his feet so let's get into some articulation segments because it's pretty much the same articulation that we've gotten with the previous figures and they are very similar to each other uh so i'm just going to go over you know the head joints neither of them really look up much at all or they just don't look up but they can turn down a little bit turn side to side a little bit of head pivoting right same thing with this one look down a little bit of head pivoting right there but not a whole lot and then the shoulders move outward that much down rotate a full 360 single jointed elbows then all of the wrists turn side to side and they hinge up and down you do get waist articulation right here unfortunately just like these older versions there's no upper thigh cut i really wish that they had a thigh cut on these that does help but you can get the legs moving outward like that and then kick forward that much back and then you get double jointed knees right there that's really cool and then uh ankles move down they don't really move up and he does have ankle pivot and you can trim them side to side so that's pretty cool just want to check the ankle articulation on the silent bob really quick just make sure that like that does the same thing yeah so those will move down Move up, turn side to side, ankle pivot right there as well. Okay, sorry it's blurry, but yeah, there's your ankle pivot. All right, cool. I just wanted to double check on those. Same thing with the hands. They all move up and down. All right, and we get, and then I'll put them off to the side right here for some measuring and size comparisons. Oh, and a little further back, just a little further back, and then to measure these Diamond Select toy figures out. Ooh, I thought this was a stain, but nope, it was a joint. There you go. All right, so to measure out these figures, you could see that Jay is standing just uh, right at the seven inch mark. And then Bob over here is standing uh, just under six and a half inches. And then for size comparison, you could see Jay standing next to Jay. So maybe I guess he's gotten a bit shorter over the years. I guess that's what, what, what happens. I didn't know that they've gotten that much older, though. The bobs seem like they're about this. You know what? I'm going to pair them up. Let's pair them up. So you get the J and the J, and then new Bob and old Bob, or I guess older Bob and younger Bob. And yeah, um, yeah, they both got shorter over time. <laughs> That's kind of funny. I do like how this cigarette right here is all lit and everything, but this was supposed to be a cigarette. I think this Bob doesn't smoke cigarettes anymore, right? Is that right? 
I can't remember now. I, I don't know. I don't know why. I don't know why. But anyway, yeah, there's your size comparison. And then let's get some other figures out here. Oh, I did just did a review, uh, an exclusive review on the Patreon of Star Wars Six Inch Black Series uh, Mark Hamill Luke Skywalker or the only Luke Skywalker, Mark Hamill. But, um, yeah, it would have been cool to see a cock knocker. Well, we already got cock knocker, but, you know, to have seen a cock knocker from this movie, it would have been awesome. But as Kevin Smith said, that he did reach out to Mark Hamill, and Mark Hamill was like, dude, uh, yeah, Star Wars, I can't do it now. Because, <laughs> you know, Disney and Star Wars. And he's like, all right, I got you. Which is, like, pretty amazing to see, like, so many people be supportive for Kevin Smith and everything. Um, you know, jumping into this movie, I, I, I'm really glad and looking forward to you know the future of his career right now and the new newer stuff that he's doing and then here we have black widow by the way the road show was really really fun like i had a great time me charlita won and uh and sean long we, we just had a blast at that thing we stayed for the q a all the way to the end it was like being at comic-con it really felt like being at comic-con i just had such a great time i guess because i always go to hall h over you know san diego comic-con every year and um and i didn't ask a question over this time i mean like we we did pick up our tickets a little on the late side so um i you know we we're really far back i could have gone but I, did, I just didn't have a question i was just having a good time it was really fun i mean not that i don't have a good time when i ask a question but you know it was just a blast so there's a shard miss prime custom right over there looking pretty cool i'm not taller than jason muse but i am definitely taller than kevin smith uh who i've met you know, face to face several times. Very, very sweet guy. Very, very nice dude. I'm sure he doesn't remember me at all, but yeah. And here is Red Guardian for no reason. Okay. And then, oh yeah, I was looking for. <laughs> all right, where are you, big time letdown? I mean, big time badass. Big time letdown. How dare I? All right, so here is the Marvel Legends big time badass Spider Man. All right. And you can see how they stand taller than an average six inch figure. So there you go. Uh, right, you guys. Um, yeah, I was going to try to make a April Fool's joke in this video, but nah, nope, not doing it. Um, here, now they could have them. I could have them play with each other now. That would be kind of neat. Before they're playing with themselves and now they're playing with each other. So there you go. And get that in his hand right there so that they get... <laughs> All right, and then they can do battle like that. That's, I'm sure that happened at one point with their own action figures, right? Did these guys ever do this? I don't know. Maybe, probably. I wouldn't, I wouldn't put it past them. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, as well as the notification bell. And I will have another 4K re review for you guys tomorrow, and then a fully edited video for you guys on Friday. And I'll catch you later. Stay safe. Stay healthy. Peace.